Hi, Elizabeth Smith here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to measure your knitting length when your stitches are still on the needles. You'll often have to do this a lot in patterns when let's say you're working on the body of a sweater and it says to uh, knit a certain number of rows or until it measures 11 inches from the hem or something along those lines. Um, so where exactly do you measure from? And the big question with this usually is at the, where the stitches are on the needles, do you measure from right under the needle? Do you measure from above the needle? Or do you measure somewhere in between? So let me show you what I do. And I'm also gonna show you a little bit of a test to compare the different methods. Typically, I'm almost always on circular needles. So I have a little demo swatch here. When I'm working on circular, what I tend to do, if I need to measure the length of something that I've knit from, let's say the cast on edge, like from right here, I will slide my stitches onto the cable part and then I'll take my tape measure or if you are using a ruler and I will measure from right at the cable um, downwards. And this usually gives me a pretty realistic length um, of what I've knit so far. So as you can see here uh, from the cable, it looks like just a little bit over two and a half inches. I wanna say two and um, maybe nine sixteenths. So I'm gonna flip this over so we can look at the centimeters because sometimes that could be a little bit more helpful. So yeah, we're, looks like we're just at about six and a half centimeters when I measure that way. Now let's compare it to if I were to measure it from when it's still on the needle. So if I were to measure it from right under the needle, again, we'll use centimeters here. So you can see, oh, it's, I've lost like half a centimeter that way. It's only measuring about six centimeters. Um, now, if I were to measure the other popular method you'll see is measuring um, halfway up the needle. So if it's still on the needle like that, so not over the needle, because if I were to measure over the entire needle, so to the very top, I'm getting about almost seven centimeters or somewhere right in between six and a half and seven centimeters. Um, if I go about halfway up, I'm getting very similar to the method I showed you of um, comparing it on the cable part. So it's about six and a half centimeters. But how can we tell which one is actually accurate? So what I did was I knit another little demo and in the yellow, I knit the exact same number of rows, but then I switched colors. So this way we can really tell the exact number of yellow rows I knit what the length is. So we can see which method was the most accurate. So I'm gonna measure, and again, let's just stick with centimeters since that seemed to be the easiest um, way to be looking at this since it's such a small amount of length. And I'm gonna look at my V's here and I'm gonna start right at the base of the V. So right where sort of the, the pink color kicked in right there. And I'm gonna measure downwards. And so as you can see, I am just about exactly at six and a half centimeters. So that kind of showed me that the method that I use for measuring the length of moving my stitches onto the cable and then measuring from the cable down, or the method of measuring, if your stitches are on the needle, measuring from about halfway up the needle downwards, that gave me the most accurate results. Whereas if you're measuring from right underneath the needle, that tended to, uh, that tended to be a little too short. So I hope seeing these little demos and seeing how it actually tested out is helpful for the next time that you need to measure your length in knitting. 